Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over how a manual transmission works. It's really oily. Okay, so before we get into explaining how a manual transmission works, we're here at Black Forest Racing with Cody. Uh, and this is actually the transmission out of our Project Mark V build. We're going to be putting a differential and some other upgrades in it. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, Black Forest Racing's site as well as their YouTube channel, uh, as well as the video for this project build uh, in the description below. So let's get into explaining how a manual transmission works. So this is the internals of our manual transmission. We'll start at the last thing in the trainer before you get to the axles. This is the differential. Now you'll normally, you've probably seen if you've ever been around a manual transmission uh, or even an automatic, the axle flange here from the outside. This plugs into our differential, and the differential is ultimately what turns the axles, which gets the wheels moving. Going moving backwards from that, on these particular Volkswagen transmissions, they split what we call the output shaft into two in order to make the training a little bit shorter. So we've got first, second, third, and fourth gear on this shaft, and our fifth, sixth, and reverse are on this other shaft. Uh, they're each geared to the differential down at the bottom. To select between the different gears, these are our shift forks. You can see the brass shift forks, which are sometimes a problem for people that shift very aggressively. They, they can break, so there is an upgrade to steel available, which we've covered in the other video. Inside of here, it's very difficult to see, but we have our synchronizers. And the way these gears engage is as you're moving the shifter forward and back, that's moving one of these down or up to pick which gear you're engaging. All right, so we've rotated the trains around to get it a little bit easier to see the forks and the engagement to the forks from our shifter shaft assembly. Uh, but to continue on from our output shafts, which is how the power gets from uh, that stage of transmission to the diff, the next stage back towards the engine, this is our input shaft. This drops down through and engages with the clutch on the car. So this shaft will always be turning anytime the clutch is engaged. Uh, and then on either one of your output shafts, when you select the gear, is when you're transferring power through there, through the synchronizer, through that gear, into this shaft, and ultimately into the differential. Um, we'll get into the, the forks. So when you're moving your shifter in your car, forwards and backwards, you're moving one of these up and down uh, in relation to here. Then when you're moving your, shif your shifter in your car left to right, there's a little paw that's deciding which one of these you're moving. So if we hold, this is our shift console, we call it, or towers, as some people call it, uh, for our O2 series transmissions. Uh, the shift lever ultimately bolts on here and goes out to the cables. So when you're moving your shifter in your car forwards and backwards, you're rotating this shaft, which if you see these little paws fit into here, and as the shaft rotates, it will lift this up or down, depending on which way you rotate it. And then when you're moving your shifter in the car left to right, it moves this in and out. So you, you see there's several different paws on here. So right now, we're in reverse. As you get to the next one here, we'll select our first and second gear via this one. The next stage selects third and fourth gear. And ultimately, when you move it the last step, it selects our fifth and sixth gear on the other end. There's also a little actual shift gate down in here that helps it uh, positively find which one you're going for. It makes it so this never can get in between and engage two at the same time. Thank you so much for watching our How Manual Transmissions Work video. For more about the transmission build here, you can be sure to check out our video where we upgrade our shift forks that Cody talks about, as well as upgrade to a limited slip differential. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. And Hop over on the Black Forest Racing YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram if you like just looking at still pictures. And uh, we're going to wash our hands. Mm -hmm.